Power Panel now. Sir Michael Singleton, Sirius XM host and former deputy chief of staff at the Department of HUD under Trump. And Richard Fowler, Fox News contributor, great to have you. Uh, Richard, what is the disconnect here? I mean, clearly people are not feeling what Bidenomics and the messaging is trying to sell. Why don't they pivot? Uh, well, thanks for having me, Harris. Uh, and I think I'll be making my own sweet potato pie and not buying a refrigerated one. We're but coming I to your like house. <laughs> you could definitely come on by. Um, look, here's the truth. And I think we've seen this over and over again. People don't try, truly understand what Bidenomics actually, Bidenomics actually is. But when they see some of the impacts of it, not the polling, but actual votes, which right, are the real, real which quickly, are the real polls. Just real quickly, because we're short on time. Give me an example of what you're talking about, because the sure, White House I, can't I, do it. Just I, one I can example. Give you, I can give you the, the, the Kentucky governor's race and what, what governor's race. Governor Bashir did there talked about building new highways, talked about the battery. No, no, plant no. That's I mean something there. that Bidenomics has done well, are, that puts that is Biden, the food that on is the Bidenom table this Thanksgiving. But that is Bidenomics, right? The idea of what building new for roads the and bridges. Now, it, it, are people feeling the impacts of it now? No, but uh, are the bills okay. that he's passed having real effect? They are, and I think we have to delineate between those two things. Uh, all right, are they having effects? Are you feeling it? Are they having effects? Are you feeling it? Mm -mm, not working. I mean, sure, Michael? I, I mean, look, Harris, I would imagine if they're having effects, right, people would be able to feel it. I would imagine if they that were part. having effects, uh, the statistics that you just posted with Thanksgiving goods increasing by several percentage points uh, compared to years past uh, would be indicative of people being able to feel it, right? Uh, but I also want to talk a little bit quickly here about the fact that the Treasury Department had a very difficult time, Harris, just a week ago selling new Treasury notes. We're spending money through the roof in this country and Americans mm -hmm. are tired of it. And I got to be honest here, uh, Republicans really did let me down, Harris, by passing another CR. The American people don't want continuous CRs. Pay for the bills of the past, but we have to cut spending moving forward, and neither party seems to be interested in doing Interesting. that. Interesting. So an urgent message a short time ago, um, Senator Schumer says he's talking with Senator McConnell to see if we can come to an agreement to expedite the CR. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, okay, we'll move on. Just what he said. <laughs> Fox News has learned far-left Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib. Remember, she recently was censured for her anti-Semitic comments. Well, anyway, she has been part of a secret Facebook group in which members have glamorized Haz Hamas tourists for years. Six years ago, she joined that controversial online group, Palestinian American Congress. The group is hidden from non-members and does not appear on the platform search engine, but Fox Digital gained access. One user posted this, we don't want to throw you in the sea. We want you to ride it back from where you came from. With a photo of an Israeli hostage, another wrote about the achievements of the resistance in the northern occupied pilot, pal Palestine. Those are quotes from the Post. Richard, your reaction. Wow. Uh, well, like, listen, I think those quotes are very disturbing, and I think we can all agree that Hamas is indeed a terrorist organization. And, and, and But with that being said, you know, you can't be responsible for everything that happens in a private Facebook group that you're a part of. I'm a part of a lot of text chats. Just because somebody in a text chat says something that's obscene doesn't mean that I said it. So I think we have to sort of delineate between those two things. Membership and saying it are two different things. And I think the fact that Rashida Tlaib was censured by the Congress speaks but to the fact that this. her members— Members of her own, of the, of, the, of the United States House, find her a high deal problematic. But at the end of the day, when we think about this, as we are a year away from the election, this will ultimately come onto the voters. Mm -hmm. If the voters of her district feel that she represents them, they'll reelect her. If they don't, they'll unelect her, period. Sure, Michael. Yeah, look, Harris, if, if I belonged to a group that spread hatred, bigotry, or anti-Semitism, yeah, those may not be my beliefs, but I'm almost willing to bet most of the viewers who are watching your show, Harris, would probably say, I would no longer belong to that group. I wouldn't belong to that text exchange that Richard just pointed an example. This stuff is appalling to me. Uh, it's not becoming of a member of Congress. And in my opinion, a Democrat should find someone else to replace her. We're seeing high numbers of anti-Semitism across this country uh, right now. There are Israeli people in this country, Jewish people in this country, who are afraid to go to work. They're afraid of their kids going so, to college campuses. We need to do something about this, Harrison. Having a member of Congress, a part of a group that clearly is anti-Semitic, is incredibly problematic. I just refuse to believe that after six or seven years, you wouldn't know what those people were saying. And I agree with you, Richard. It, it doesn't mean that you said it. 
But it also doesn't mean that you don't know what's being said after that mm -hmm. many years. And only the voters can take somebody away. But they could take her off any committees that she's sitting on if they haven't yeah. already considered look, doing that. Look, look, I think that's up to the Speaker of the House to do that. And I will also add to this point that, you know, when we have these type of conversations, it's also important to point out when we talk about anti-Semitism, we also talk about the impact, the impacts of Islamophobia. Right, right now, as we speak, the FBI director's on Capitol Hill. The, the two are not the commensurate sides. for Let's this particular no, no, conversation. No, that's exactly people being harmed what no matter doing. what religion they are. No, I, I agree with that, but let's talk right, both let me, sides. Let me push it's, pause it's, here because we're going to run out of time. 60% of threats against people in this country are against Jewish Americans. Mm -hmm. There's no mm -hmm. equivalency to that, even for all of us in this brown skin. Not at this moment in uh, history. Oh, no, Harris, I get okay, that. Okay, I'm going to let you go. Thank you. Outnumbered after the break. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.